On my way now to pick up the Indian Challenger. First time ever on a Challenger, so first ride impressions, first everything for you guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm so. I know, at least there was only a 20% chance of rain today. <laughs> First ride impressions on the bike in the rain. Oh. Is the Welcome back to another video. Yes, we're in the cage today. On my way now to pick up the Indian Challenger. Got the co pilot here not doing any piling whatsoever <laughs> uh yeah we're heading to the indian up in white plains new york to pick up the 2023 indian challenger can't wait to see that thing i don't know too much about it yet i don't know what color it is i don't know anything about it i don't know that i'm picking it up we're gonna be taking it home we're gonna have it for a while so once we get to the dealership we'll uh go over a few more things there and then that first ride home i've never been on an indian challenger before so First time, I've always wanted to ride that bike. Super excited to get it. I'm excited as this guy. I'm excited too. I'm just annoyed we have all these beautiful roads and you wouldn't go on the back of the bike with me. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what the problem is. It's, like, it's 2023, what's wrong with you riding on the back of my bike? I called him last night, he, he, he was like, I was like, yo, I, I, got, I got to pick up that Challenger this week. So he was like, bro, let's go tomorrow, let's pick it up. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like on your bike? He goes, yeah, just get on the bike, man. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, man. It's a long ride. If it was from my house to Bergen, maybe. We'll get there in a few. We'll give you guys a little walkthrough of the dealership as well. It's a nice little dealership. I've been there before. Uh, nice and small, but um, people there seem to be really nice as well. That's uh, the the sport one. So yeah. th th that one thing starts like at 14. Is it? Yeah. That's cheaper than the carbon? Yeah, hell yeah. Way cheaper. That's nice. Way cheaper. It's really nice. That, that has to be probably like my, my favorite color. Yeah, I think this and the red. Yeah, the red's sick. Oh man, I, I see you making that move. <laughs> Listen, I'm not against it. <laughs> it's, it's, it would be a really hard move because I own like 75 Harley shirts. <laughs> I haven't even worn half of them. But look, I'm not, I wouldn't mind having uh, two bikes, you know, an Indian and a Harley. Yeah. But that blue is actually fun. I don't know what it is, like a pastel, like... It's nice. It's nice. It's really nice. I'm like, I, I don't think... I've, I've, I haven't been this excited to ride a bike in a while, man. In a really long time. Where? This one? The varsity jacket? Uh -huh. It is a nice jacket. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's fire, bro. They got the the Indian head logo in the back. Look. <laughs> I like that good stuff. You like a thoroughgood slash Fred Wynn style. Oh, so look, this is the um, the Jack Daniels. Uh, that's cool. It's super sick, man. This is nice. Oh, you see the seat? Oh, shit, spray it. just a style. I think it's just a rigid, a rigid seat. It's nice, though, man. Yeah, it's sick, man. Real nice. Sit on it, man. It's just too high. I gotta get those two inch boots. Well, why don't you just grow a few inches then? <laughs> None of those products work. <laughs> Forever average. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Yeah, I'd have a lot of fun with this shit. Yeah, it's a dope bike, man. Yeah, I got a feeling the one that I'm gonna be getting is gonna be black for some reason. Yeah? I don't know. I'm, I'm, gonna, say, I'm gonna say like silver or gray. Silver or gray? Like that right here? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's actually a really nice color. That reminds me of Sal's. Uh, oh, Sal's Street Glide, right? 
That thing, it, it looks mean, man. It looks so good. Like, people who hate on this bike, man, I don't get it because it's such a dope bike. The only reason why people hate this is the hard. Yeah, that's all it is. If you guys had to pick one Indian in this dealership right now, what would it be? This is really nice. Challenger is nice. Which one would you pick? Scouts. Like if if price wasn't a a matter, this one or that black one. I, I take the Challenger, man, all day, all day. The Challenger, and if I had to get a smaller bike, would be a. Probably that Jack Daniels version. I would take the, uh, the Elite. What, what's that called? I don't know. This is um. Roadmaster, Roadmaster yeah. You like this? This is the bike I'll just put some pipes on and just enjoy. It. Yeah, okay. Bro, look at this. It's classic. You never just put pipes on it. Nah, it, it's, it's just classic. That's why I like it. It's nice, yeah, it's classic. Like this this gives me like Chevy Bel Air vibes. Yeah. It's the classic bike. You don't want to do too it's much. Pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty, it's what it is. Well, if you buy the bike, you get to buy this right here. It's your size. <laughs> right, what did I tell you? It's black. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it was black. So this is gonna be first time ever on a Challenger. So first ride impressions, first everything for you guys. Super excited to get on this bike, man. Super, super excited. I wish it was gonna be a dark horse, but beggars can't be choosers, right? And of course, it had to rain today. So this being an Indian, it does have riding modes like the rest of the bikes do. Right now we have it on standard mode. I should try out the uh, rain mode. Okay, you know what? We're gonna, woo, <laughs> look at that. Windshield goes up. That would get more wind off of us. Fix our mirrors real quick. There we go. Boom. Let's just put it on rain mode, just to be extra safe, that easy. So as you can see, everything right here is red in your face. Very, very easy to see everything. Gauges and the screen, very user-friendly at that. So on my road glide, I have a uh, taller suspension, so I'm like almost tippy toeing on that bike. On this bike, the way it sits right now, I'm basically able to flat foot it. And I am 5'7", so I'm more on the shorter end. So for you shorter riders, you guys are good on this bike. It had to rain today, man. It really had to rain on my parade. We'll take this back to my house, we'll put it in the garage, I want to see it next to the Roguelite, man. And believe me, we're going to be doing a lot more content 
uh, comparing those two bikes because that, that's what I've always wanted to do. I wanted to get on this bike and compare it to my Rogue Glide and see exactly which bike is the best bike. Yeah, the Raymo definitely tames you down a lot more. A lot different from standard. It's definitely comfortable. Um, right at first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, you got people like that on their phones, not paying attention to anything. So right off the bat, sitting on the bike, it feels really comfortable. Uh, my hands feel good. I have a nice slight bend to my arm right here. So the bar's at a really comfortable position. If this was my bike, obviously we, we, we'd put T-bars on this thing, man. Do a nice little crowd setup. Put your fists up here. Ah, <laughs> that'd be amazing. Suspension wise, it feels really good too. So it feels really good. It's just like the bike feels like it just eats up all the little bumps on the road. And this stock seat, honestly is really comfortable now how is this bike in the rain so far so good i like the fact that you're able to adjust that uh shield on the front especially for stuff like this so if it's raining you just you know lift them up and kind of divert that rain off of you a bit more we'll sit down and we'll do a nice thorough review on the bike next week as well so wait for that today was just my uh the pickup and uh, first ride impressions on the bike in the rain Yo, it's really coming down, bro oh, This is great You're gonna have six gears on this bike Now as far as the controls You're gonna have your horn on this side high beam low beam your turn signals right there on the left as well uh, your knob to lower your music switch your songs over on the right side right here you're gonna have your power button cut off switch um cruise control settings right here as well and then this little knob right here that button controls the windshield if you want to raise it up or put it back down You know what, so far on the ride, I'm really impressed of how comfortable this bike is. Any little bumps on the road, it just eats everything up. Really, really comfortable. And it feels so light. Now that screen is really nice and bright. Really easy to read. Right now, we're only on Raymo, so that's the only thing we're gonna try on for today. But the bike handles great, man. It handles really, really nice. It just, it feels lighter. For some reason, it just feels lighter than my Rogue Glide. I'm gonna be mentioning Rogue Glide a lot, guys, because that's what I got at home, and that's what this bike mainly competes with. This bike was made to compete with the Rogue Glide. So you're gonna be hearing a lot of comparisons, a lot of talks, a lot of conversations between this and the Rogue Glide that I have at home. I think Indian really did a great job with this. I mean, from factory, this bike comes with, you know, great brake system, inverted front end, a ton of power it is liquid cooled so it's gonna be pumping a lot of power man and it's just really really comfortable like I'm really surprised with the stock seat I could be on the seat all day now if you've made it this far into the video you're probably wondering well it's is this your bike it's is it not or are you is it just another Indian loner yes it's just a loner so I gotta give a huge shout out to Indian for loaning me this bike, man. People over at Indian always look out for me, man. And they have always given me the opportunity to put in my two cents in on the product. Um, and, and it's and it's awesome that, you know, they, they lend me these bikes. I got to take them home and 
live with them for a while, use them and really review them. So with that being said, we are gonna have this bike for for some time. I don't know how long, but it's gonna be for a while. Um, they're also giving me the option to pick out some accessories online, install them on the bike. So we're gonna be doing some of that stuff as well. So that's pretty awesome. That's pretty new as well. Um, I'm excited for that. So I gotta go online and see what's available. It needs to be from the Indian catalog. So if you guys are interested in seeing anything, drop your comments or your thoughts down below. Let, let me know what you like to see me do on this bike. I mean, I wish this bike was mine, man. I, oh my God, the, the things I would do to this bike, bro, that's we'll leave that for another video but i have like a full list of what i would do to this bike and and it will look so so good man indian if if you're hearing me out there man maybe one day maybe one day we could do something like that <laughs> i get to build out the bike and that 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 would be awesome switching gears is really nice and smooth as well you get a nice clunk feel when you uh, switch it to gear as well. I like that feeling. Hey. Yo, I'm so... I know, at least there was only a 20% chance of rain today. <laughs> <laughs> you picked the best day. Look, oh, damn, you're all wet. <laughs> So what's your initial reaction? Yo, the suspension on here is, is great. Yeah. Like, that suspension, it soaks everything up, man. It's comfortable as hell. And the back seat too. I like it, dude. Like it's, it's really nice. You got everything right here in front of you. Ooh. You see the windshield? <laughs> it's like magic! I'm all wet, all soaked, but we got the Challenger home. Look at this thing, beautiful. Yeah, I really love the red striping on the wheel, man. Just makes it pop out really good. And you got the light on the Indian head on the fender right there. That's pretty gnarly, man. That's pretty cool. LED lighting on there, LED lighting right here. Beautiful, man. I'm telling you guys, man. Those of you guys who hate on Indian, just get on this bike. This is my first time on this bike right now. And I'm, not, I'm not just saying it because Indian sent this bike out to me or whatever. And I'd even get the full thrill out of it because obviously we're riding in the rain. But it feels great, man. It's really nice. It's a beautiful design bike. It rides great. It's comfortable. I really can't wait till we get some good weather out there. It's going to be raining for the next two weeks, just FY. Uh, yeah, two weeks of rain we're expecting. So, um, yeah, I just can't wait to go out there and just really get on this thing and really try it. We got to bring it aside and put it side by side with the uh, road glide now. There we go. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is awesome. This is like a sight to see, man. How awesome is this? <laughs> Look at that light right there. That's awesome. That's so cool. <sighs> Look at that. <laughs> I would just love to just walk in here every day and just look at this site right here. Best of both worlds. How awesome is this? <laughs> Man, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Wow. <laughs> 